talk to you about an interesting little problem concerning average velocity. Let's say, for example, you and your friends are going to take a drive from San Francisco to San Jose. And the distance is 60 miles between these two cities. And let's say going there, you're, you're going at a nice 60 miles per hour. However, on the return trip, on the return trip, there's a bunch of traffic, and you can only go 30 miles per hour. And then, at the end of your trip, there and back, your friend says, ah, well, we averaged 45 miles per hour. It's not correct. Sure, you were going 60 there and 30 back, but the average is not 45 miles per hour. And I'll prove it to you in a second. But if you think about it, you'll understand why. When you were going 60 miles per hour, you covered this distance. The time going is one hour. The time coming back, however, well, 60 miles at 30 miles per hour, the time coming back is two hours. You spent twice as long at 30 miles per hour as you did at 60 miles per hour. You spent more time at the slower speed, and therefore your average should be tilted on the low side of 45. Let's do the calculation. Well, if you naively did this, you would get the 45. But this is wrong. What you have to do is do something like that's called a weighted average. Because one number is more important than the other, and that's the 30. Because you spent more time at 30. So what you would want to do is this. Well, you spent twice as long at 30, so you go 2 times 30 plus 60, and then all divided by 3. And if you do that, well, you get 2 times 30 is 60, and then 60 plus 60 is 120, divided by 3, 40 miles per hour. Much closer to the 30 than to the 60. Another way to think about it is that, well, Hey, I know, by definition, the average velocity is the uh, distance divided by the total time. Well, the total, total distance is 120. I should probably call this the average speed, to be specific, but let's not fight over uh, splitting hairs here. The total distance is 60, 60 miles going, 60 miles going back, so that's 120. Well, the total time, it took one hour going, it took two hours going back, so the total time is three hours, 120 miles, and 120 divided by three, that's 40 miles per hour, or MPH, as we abbreviate it. There you go. Interesting case study.